This is the original interior light from the back of the van. It used to be up there on a bit of plywood. Four wires. Red is a permanent 12 volt live. Brown is switched via the light control module. Purple and blue is connected to the 12 volts when the switch here is in the auto position. And purple and green is connected to 12 volts when the switch is in the on position. And obviously you've got an off position as well. So the way this works is a bit, un, well, not unusual. It's just they, do, they provide a permanent live rather than switching the live. And they actually turn the light on and off with the earth, depending on whether there is 12 volts on either purple wire. So I thought I'd like to keep that functionality whilst adding, um, again, temporary lights just taped up, just something to use. I've added three lights in the ceiling here and they're running off this switch here. So that turns them on and off, as you'd expect. But that one allows me to have the lights on automatic so that when the doors open they come on as well and at the moment that's down for auto and that would just be off and the way i've done that is via a relay up there and all the spare wires spare wires always have, have, worth having spare wires caught up for future there's a couple of relays there the relay on the left is the one for my outside lights and that's operating off the re reversing switch as well so when I put the vehicle in reverse I can have all the outside lights on but otherwise those out outside lights are off these switches here. Anyway, relay on the right you can see, or you should be able to see it uh, no, gold bright what I'm doing basically is when I switch the lights on with this switch here it turns the relay on and it connects these lights to my temporary uh, auxiliary battery setup that I've got down there. Sticks to plus or minus 12 volts on them. When the relay is off, when the lights are off, then the relay connects these lights up to the original wiring. And here's the original wiring. Focus. Here's two purple wires. This is the red supply. This is the switch live. And all I'm doing is taking it through the relay and connecting it up to the original red and brown wires. That allows me to basically have the three interior lights working on the sliding door or the rear door uh, in auto mode. Plus, when we're parked up camping, the relay switches over and the lights are now running from the auxiliary batteries. So we don't have an impact on the uh, chassis battery when we're normally using the light in. But for normal day-to-day -day use, just as a van, I can leave it like that. And the lights will come on when I open the door. Can't show you that right now because the uh, chassis battery is disconnected because I've been playing with other things as well. I've been messing about uh, wiring up um, as I've been doing the reversing lights. And I've got a D-plus signal. Bit of conduit. <laughs> Bit of conduit down there because that's a D plus signal and that's going to that little speaker there which will be wired up to another relay so that um, when the steps out and the handbrake is off and the engine is running hence the D4 signal and I've done a separate video about the D4 signal then uh, it will make a bleeping noise but only when the engine is running and only if I release the handbrake um, I've also put a little switch in so I can actually turn the thing off should there be any situation where I've actually got the handbrake off and the step out and the engine running and I don't want all the noise. All well, the sounds come to see me. But there you go. Little DIN rail mounted relay, £5 on eBay. That gives me the ability to have automated interior lights as well as um, manually switching on and, off, on and off. And even under the carport, on a shady day, solar panels producing uh, keeping the batteries nicely topped up or the battery nicely topped up latest addition is this handle this originally was the hand the grab handle under the overhead lockers behind me and there were two um, handrails in this van one in this position here and one about there um, 
but they weren't straight and I did put one in it, it went into those holes you can see just there it bolted into there and it went up to these bolt holes here but the whole thing was sort of like oh, you know it wasn't quite and it was right winding up so I thought I'll have a go at adapting this one and it's also going to make a very useful thing for hanging coats on as well it's part of the reason why I've, we've I've left I've, the, the panel that's going up here is recessed back there's going to be a little bit of a shelf up here as well which would be handy for um, just sticking phones on when they're charging and so on and so forth but there you go so quick quick video on adapting the existing wiring in the van to make use of the interior light system thanks for watching